I'm red. Hello, everyone. My clothes are red. How's everybody doing? That's great. We're playing Mass Effect today. I know some of you are confused. They thought it was Dark Souls Day. That was before we switched over the schedule slightly to accommodate the overcooked and Jackbox stream on the Peach Saliva stream last night. Also, I just got done watching Star Trek with Eli and Paige over at Picardo. There were fun episodes, one of which where Worf blew up a ship full of people. So that's cool. Good good job. Good job, Worf. Good job. <sighs> we're going to be playing Mass Effect 3 today. Huzzah! We finally got there. This is almost all new to Pat. I only played, like, uh, I want to say 90 minutes of this back in the day uh, for the, uh, the Machinima video. And uh, then I uh, was uh, heard about the ending like a million times. Because of the, the complaining and the anger and the bubba boo Right? But all that middle stuff, most of that middle stuff, is new to me. So that's good. All right. Also, we're going to be reading a lot more of the codex on this one because these are entries that I haven't actually read myself. Whereas in the other two, all right, I read nearly all of it. All right. Uh, haven't heard from Machinima in years? That's because they're dead. I don't know why they would be emailing you. Let's see. Homeschool dropout kicked in 690. Thank you, homeschool dropout. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Classic Mass Effect 3 is better than the Legendary Edition. Why? Mods? Well, that's not classic, is it? Completely, like. All right, homeschool dropout kicked in six ninety. Thank you, homeschool. Let's see your rant on. Dog shenanigans. Your rant on Destiny 2 reminded me. Whoa! Hey, my water! I just gave you new water. Why why do you no? I just gave you new water. Why do you want my water? It's mine. Oh. Oh, I love him. Oh. 
Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so good. Oh. I love him. He's a good guy. He's such a good guy. Oh. Precious son. Precious. What's my controller button layout? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. <sighs> Alright. Let's try this again. Boop. A homeschool dropout kicked in 690. Your rant on Destiny 2 reminded me about how badly Ubisoft fucked up Siege. Once they switched dev teams. They switched dev teams on Siege? Why? The thing was a massive success! There hasn't been a new map or gun in two years. And it takes literally nine months to fix Borked Ops. You be shit gaslights by saying we're getting more value. I don't get it. JT Dobins kicked in. A sub, thank you. Yeah, seven months. Thanks for great entertainment. Can't wait to see where we get. Go, get, go now. Mass Effect 3 now, tonight. Thank you. Worm Spawn kicked in 23 months. No sub, just message. ME3, let's go. Well, there is a sub there. You subbed. That's a sub right there. G Mikun kicked in 18 months. Hey, Pat, happy birthday. Paige. Uh, mine was last week and I turned 30. Not sure how to feel about that. It's just another day, man. Birthdays are stupid. They're waiting for Hallmark to trick you into buying cards you don't need. Just any other day. And to everybody who's like, oh, Pat, you just, you just, you just say that. Nah, -uh, I tell everyone I don't want presents on my birthday and I don't want people to celebrate my birthday. Because it's stupid. Except when I stream. Then I celebrate it because, I mean, that's fun. But, you know, I hate getting birthday gifts. Ugh. Like, like presents. It's awkward. It's awkward. Because everyone always got me a good gift, and then I'd be like, shit, my gifts always suck ass. And then you feel bad. And is that what you want to feel on your birthday? Bad? No. James Court kicked in five hundred bits. Thank you, James. Yo, Pat, I was fucked to see you play Mass Effect 3. Now, before you get into it, is it okay for you to tell us what do you know of Mass Effect 3? What are you familiar with? Or what have you heard about it over the years? I was planning to do that at the uh, beginning of the gameplay section, but I don't see why I can't talk about it now. Um, I'm familiar with most of the ending. I'm familiar with the premise of the Leviathan DLC. Uh, I'm aware that Javik is an asshole. I know that you can do, th like, 300 reps for Vega in the Citadel DLC. Um, I know that Emily Wong died on Twitter and it has been replaced with Jessica Chobot, which is fucking awful. Um, uh, and I know about the very, very end of the Tuchanka storyline for good or for ill. That's pretty much it. Oh, and the K Kai Kai Len Kai Leng sucks ass. Kai Leng, is that how is that how I say it? Sucks ass and is a dweeb. Thank you. Stop that. Rumbutt kicked in 25 months. Died to Born World as a fuck hell maw. 2186. I am Pat Shepard. And then a bunch of dead batarians. Zangief, stop that. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Mock shops up for two years to say Shepard. Thank you, Mock. Hey, Paige. Can you take the boy out? I think he needs to pee. He's getting real restless. No, yeah, but he didn't pee on that one. He only peed on the one five hours ago. Okay. He's doing that thing where he's stomping in the fucking corner like an asshole. Pee -pee. 
Lizard OTM subbed. Been awake for 25 hours to sleep, fix my sleep schedule. Hopefully watching the stream can help me make it to like 9 p.m. or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Okay, so we're going to be doing Mass Effect 3 tonight. Everyone just relax. Um, Lizard OTM, you just, you just get real comfy and we're going to be uh, starting it. We're going to be importing Shepard soon. <laughs> Mask of Michael subbed. Hey, pass it wrong. Say that you have to get that Vitussy every. Oh, God damn it. I'm. 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 Still, uh, rookie Balboa sub. Thank you, Rookie. Ew. Oh, boy. It's Mass Effect 3. I can't wait for people who have never played the game to say how it's the worst shit ever. Having beaten it recently again, I'd say that it's 10, 10 out of 10 to stop by fumbling the last 1% a little bit. So, Rookie, I agree with the general tone of your statement in that people who uh, kind of bandwagon shit all over it, who didn't really have much experience or knowledge of it. Uh, and, and you had me for the first half, not going to lie. Uh, but then you say that it fumbled the last 1% a little bit. The developers of the game have straight up bluntly stated that they massively botched the ending. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what, like, I don't know what kind of argument you're making when the, even the people who made it are like, oh yeah, we fucked that up. It was one of those interesting things where I was talking to... Who was I talking to? I think I was talking to Doc. I'm not sure. But um, I was wondering if the Mass Effect 3 ending doesn't hit the shit as bad when you're playing it as the third game in like a month-long binge. Um, because... The buildup of expectation of the years between two and three really didn't do that ending any fucking favors. Um, so I wonder if like the context of me like rolling right through it is gonna modify that somewhat. Obscure anime guy, so thank you, appreciate it. I lock up for nine. Start playing Scarlet Nexus. Yuito has the awareness of the sea sponge. Yuito is the stupidest protagonist I think I've ever played as in anything ever in my entire life. It is... It is really... Really astonishing... Just how stupid... The male main character of uh, Scarlet Nexus is. It's wild. Eh, hey, babe. More than Ajna? Mmm. I wouldn't call that a game I've played. Tiz gifted a sub. Thanks, Tiz. Appreciate it. Pilgrim, What? Well, I'm kind of busy right now. Do you need the trash quite often in the near future? Okay. Pilgrim says, what? Sub. Says, ending is it. Love 95% of this game. See, that's a much more measured take. And one that I can at least believe. Rookie. Thanks, Pilgrim. Tiz gifted a sub again. What are you doing, Tiz? No, wait, that's Tiz's own subscription. I just saw the word Tiz86 and just said gifted a sub because that's what you do here. You show up and gift subs and then I thank you. Thanks, Tiz. Really appreciate it. I'm your biggest fan. All right. Warpath kicked in 15 bucks. Thank you, Warpath. Hi, Pat. I've seen a lot of really justified Jacob hate on these streams. However... Him cheating on Femshep isn't one. If you chose Jacob over everyone else, you kind of deserved it. If you disagree, then you should download the Mass Effect 3 mod that lets you punch Jacob. That's pretty funny. Jacob sucks. Jacob sucks ass.
James is cool. I have actually heard that James is actually quite cool, uh, despite being like a, a weirdo meathead. But in the context of Mass Effect, it's kind of weird that we haven't gotten any weirdo meatheads. Right? Like, like we're in a, a fucking military ship. Shouldn't there be just a bunch of dumbass Marines just around? Uh, Brave Robin kicked it 500 bits. Hype train, get hype. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate it. Future City 10 kicked in $5. Thank you, Future City, as always. As soon as you gain control, mass out, max out your class ability, focusing on the rep and paragon again. Yeah. Then Biotic Charge and Nova, focusing solely on power. Once you get more weapons, keep it above 200% weight. Keep above 200% weight? Anything more and you're gimping yourself to usefulness. Uh, uselessness. I'm going to assume you mean under 200%. Never go below 200%. We're too, we're too what? That makes no sense. Scary Boy Supreme sub. Thank you, Scary Boy. I get why people are skeptical about the new Mass Effect and Dead Space remake. But until I see game bad gameplay, I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic. Maybe new dev teams are better for the games. Who can say it? You're right. It totally worked for Dead Space Extraction and Mass Effect Andromeda. New dev teams totally salvaged those franchises. Um, yeah, Dead Space Extraction is good. But... Um, I don't really see where the cautious optimism would come from. I actually liked Dragon Age Inquisition a good deal. Uh, but that's like the most... Zangief, get down from there. Zangief, get down from there. Zangief. Well, thank you, darling. You showed him. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, fucking Inquisition. Did I say Inquisition? Yeah, Inquisition. Nah, I meant Inquisition. It's just like the most mid game ever. I don't know, I don't really have any particular reason to be excited for a new Mass Effect. I'm the opposite. I'm like, right in the middle, because it could be anything. Um, so we'll see, I guess. All right. Sir Tim Bob kicked in 500 bit. Thank you, Sir Tim Bob. Hey, Pat. I was scrolling down on my Twitter feed today and saw a video that had a skippable ad. I waited the five seconds to slam the skip button, only to discover that the video I was waiting for was an ad. This blew my mind for tricking me. What stupid things have got you lately? I don't know. That's pretty bad. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I usually do stupid shit all the time, so I guess that's been means it's been a good week. <laughs> Thank you. Fro Diddly kicked in ten months. Thanks, Fro. Nothing to say to do due to climate anxiety. Thanks for stream, my dude. Don't worry. Uh, the amount of energy I'm using to deliver this stream to you is significant. And yeah. Yeah. What do you just do? What do you just do? I had all my, like, my, my ingredients drawer, my, for my dry goods, and he just closed this drawer. He just closed it on you. Yeah. 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 I'm uh, completely powered by hydroelectricity. Seriously, I am. Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. So that's good. Quigsies kicked in 26 months. Thanks, Quigsies. Hey, Pat, excited to see the conclusion of this exciting trilogy. After all, the ending should be one of the best parts of any story, right? Ha 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 Lord Moon sub, thank you. Anko Pro sub, Mass Effect 3, more like at Mass Effect Free Prime sub. Here you go. That's pretty good. Thank you. 
Umbra Scriptor, a name that I'm damn sure I've never seen before, kicked in $100.01. Thank you, Umbra Scriptor. Hey, I gave Paige some money at some point, too. So it's only fair I give you also. Have fun. My least favorite get, get off of that monitor. Zengi. Come here. Have at least have fun. My least favorite game in my favorite series after Kotor. Much love. Well, thank you. I hope I have fun. Twenty eight Moogles. Have I'll have a little fun. So here's the thing: because I'm streaming it, even if it's complete garbage, we can all just complain together, like the Star Child. It's Olive, it's Olive Garden. Is that how? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, Paige, I don't want to taint your Mass Effect experience, but uh, because you're here right now. But no, don't worry about it. I will be talking shit about the Star Child. That little motherfucker can go to hell. Go back to living with Deanna Troy, where he came from. So, twenty-eight uh, Moogle said. That Mass Effect 3 is a great game, long action finale to the trilogy, and nobody can stop me from giving Pat money to make this hurt. Loved this game a decade ago, and loved it again today. Big emotions. Why, thank you. Zangief! Get down from there. He is just deciding to climb on things now. Braves Robin kicked in 500 bits. The addition of an epilogue narration helped immensely. One of the more troubling things about the Mass Effect 3 release date, sorry, not release date, but it is, I am getting there, uh, the ending controversy, was that it became really obvious that with, like, just a little bit more work, like, literally three extra months, it would have been a very significant improvement. And the explosion would have been like a, a grumble. And what happens is, is that when a game that's big enough like that gets too close, you, the release date can't change. It just can't change. So I remember on the Giant Bombcast all those years ago, Jeff and Brad were arguing about it because Jeff reviewed it for Giant Bomb and Brad played it later after all the DLC had come out and they were in this fucked up position where they had completely different like feelings about it but like Brad admitted that he had played a completely different game than the one that actually came out three, four, five months earlier right like Like, it's fucked up. And, like, now I'm completely removed from the imp the explicit context that I might have bought, borrowed the game used from a friend, so I gotta pay $10 to get the most important character that's ever existed in the history of Mass Effect. <sighs> Shirtle subbed. Hey, Pat, have fun with Mass Effect 3. May I provide you the good content, and happy B-Day to Paige. Thank you. Paige is very grateful. Ducent sub. We put our faith. Oh wait, what? Hey, don't you dare! Don't you dare, you bad boy! What do you do? What is he doing? Oh, uh, push it a little further back from the edge, I guess. Okay, this feels like a, a, a something that you'll actually know better than me because these sound familiar, but I can't place them. Yeah, Ducent sub. We put our faith in blast hard cheese. Roll fizz, roll fizzle beef, <laughs> James Vega, yeah. big McLarge huge, yeah. and slab squat thrust. Yeah, he's, he's making fun of uh, from Space Mutiny. Okay. Oh, movie. the guy on the little cart. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The big guy. Yeah. Yeah. James Vega's the new one. NCC one seven zero one Dave sub says, "Hey Pat, hey man, like your number." Baller swag, bro. Sub. Big excited for the Mass Effect 3 Pro tip. Ooh. If you want an absolutely broken ass build, use the Chrysase sniper rifle, Scorpion shotgun, and M11 suppressor pistol watch. Drop everything in one hit. I'm probably going to use my magic powers. I'm going to be a space wizard. 
Hemi sub. Thank you, Hemi. Very appreciate it. Pocket Bear Illustrator gifted two subs. Thank you. Appreciate it. A homeschool dropout kicked in five bucks. Thank you, homeschool dropout. You can do the DLC whenever, but it might not make sense. I'd recommend Javik first. This I know. Omega DLC has nothing to do with shit, so just do it when you can stop the combat. Leviathan after the monastery and Citadel after Thessia. Got it. Thank you. I w you guys might have to remind me of that. But uh, thank you. Forgot this. Lochi XCIX subbed. Oh, somebody just screamed out no to that to that thing. Ooh. Do Citadel after Sanctuary. I don't know what fucking... So basically, do Citadel last. So this is the one you didn't play. Yes, correct. Oh. You know what? I'm going to just find out somebody I know and trust before... <laughs> do not trust the entirety that is trapped. Fuck no. That's Wooly's problem. I would never trust chat. Never ever. Straw Killers kicked in 26 months. Thanks, Straw. Hey, Pat, want to say thanks for all that streams and shit. Also, going into Mass Effect 3, careful talking with Lyra. You can accidentally lock back into her romance. Oh, don't worry. I'll be very mean to that blue bitch. Also, do the Omega DLC ASAP because it gives a fun power and it's a solo mission, so no need for team. I'm glad that all of these 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 things are like do the DLC in this order that's different from everybody else. Hat talk sub, thank you, Hat talk, appreciate it. Goose attack almanac kicked in five bucks. The multiplayer had no right being as good as it is, and you can console command everything into your inventory. Being a Geth Prime and choking out monsters felt good. They've talked about maybe coming back and putting the multiplayer, like, as a separate thing, which apparently everyone likes that idea. Also, Freddy Prince Jr. did well enough as James Vega that he came back as Iron Bull in Dragon Age. Iron Bill was, like, an absolute, absolute highlight of, um, of Dragon Age. And was actually one of the reasons I kept playing, because I want to hang out with Iron Bull. Yeah, Freddie Prince Jr. ended up going on to be like a, a pretty good voice actor. Really? Yeah. Lumberjack Jack. Sub. Can't wait to see play through ME3. Well, the negatives are still quite bad. Mass Effect 3 also contains a lot of the best positives of the franchise. Also, there is a way to ascend Garrus and other soldiers into Godhood and have them carry you. Enjoy. I'll tell you. I'm sure I will get advice on how to do that. Uh, Blizztex Thief kicked in 500 bits. Would you rather spend an afternoon watching Drawn Weglazam... Bob... Would I rather spend an afternoon watching a John Leguizamo movies or sit on a dramatic reading of the entire Cloud Mows the Lawn series? Alright. I don't know what Cloud Mows the Lawn is. Cloud Mows the Lawn. Let's see, Final Fantasy fic. It's a do not want series. How long is this? I can't tell how long it is. Hmm. Close that. I can listen to anything, though. So, uh, whichever one's the shortest. Probably the fanfic. That can't possibly be as long as, like, a bunch of John Leguizamo movies. And if it's the same amount of time than the movies, because then at least I get to watch Mario Bros. That movie sucks. Physics LB sub. This is my favorite. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is my favorite stream in the Citadel. Thank you. Brave Sir Robin kicked in five out of bits. I mean, we grumble about boomers now. Imagine one brought back from 50,000 years ago. Yeah, I know, right? 
Pickled Parsley Party says the Mass Effect 3 story doesn't change at all if you skip Javik. He's not the most important character. I don't care what he has to do with the story. I didn't say he was the most important character, or if I did, I misspoke. But he's the most important person that's ever existed in the Mass Effect series. One's in relation to the game's plot, the other's in relation to the game's setting. And Scary Boy Supreme kicked on, uh, kicked in five bucks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I know Javik's one of the most important characters, but I wish he was never included. I find Ancient Dead Races and sci-fi more interesting if you know little, very little about them. It's the same with Halo 4 and 5, showing them four where Unearth looked in acted light. I think the fact that uh, Javik's like an asshole actually plays in really well. Because he's not what you expected. But that's just me. Uh, Worm Spawn says, no matter what order you do things in... So long as you don't do, don't start the priority mission after Priority high Horizon, you can finish all the DLCs by that point. Okay. Well, everyone will start screaming at me the instant it shows up on screen, so I'm not, I'm not too, not too worried about it. Bane Kaikyo kicked in 31 months. Holy shit, that's a lot of months. Wow, crazy. Anyway, I'm really glad my Wii isn't a brick, so I can attempt playing through the Metroid Prime trilogy. To hype me up for Dread, pew pew. Those are good games. I actually prefer their regular ass controller versions though, but that's just me. And Rookie Balboa kicked in five bucks. Hey, Rookie, welcome back to the stream that you were still in because I read your message a few minutes ago. I'll agree with that, what that guy said earlier about the loads of Mass Effect 3 are pretty fucking bad, but the highs, characters, payoffs, certain stories, etc. are the best stuff in the series. Glad the team members of Bioware are doing different stuff now. Yeah, I don't even know if who the fuck still works at Bioware. Like... I don't see... Uh, Mass Effect 4 is going to be shit. Um, Neo Cree kicked in 21 months. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? I'm all right. I'm enjoying all the pretty fog smoke from the massive, massive Canadian wildfires. Uh, reminder that K Kai Lang ate Anderson's cereal in the books when he was placing bugs in his apartment. Yeah, it's cereal. What asshole. And Brave Robin kicked in five over to bits. Says, take Liara and Javik to the mission on Liara's homeworld. Super good dialogue on the temple. Well, thank you. Oh, and Dova King Prime sub. White, I'm still paying for this shit. Oh, well, keep up the good work. I will. Thank you. Uh, Solid Stro points out in the chat. Pat hasn't even touched the game. Chat's already screaming on what to do or not do. Fuck, this is going to be a mess. Here's the trick. I love ignoring you guys. But if I need to ask you for something, I can scan you quickly and take the, the pulse. Where I go, hey, should I bring... Like, because most of the times on the Mass Effect 2 missions, I'm like, should I bring somebody for this? And you'd all just be yelling different bullshit. But if it was like, should I take Javik on this temple mission? You're all going to go, oh, yeah, take Javik. He's cool. I spilled water myself. But... Oh, well. An Alley 8 sub. It says, hi, Pat. Hey, man. Mm. All right. What's he doing? Is he going in the cupboard? All right. I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. You know who else is ready to go? You're a friend of mine. No signal. Yes, no signal. Hey, no signal. How you doing? Oh, wow. That's great. Don't even have even a little signal. Oh. I don't know why that kind of like little like stupid idiot voice is like really funny to me. Oh my god. Mass Effect 4, no signal? That would actually be a decent name for a game. Like I'm not even joking. Like for real. Because it would be about like afterwards and they're like, we can't get any signals from the other planets, the mass relays. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Right? Man. There's no way. Like, you know why they're making, they're remaking Dead Space 1? Because fucking Dead Space 3 ended with, like, the most definitive fucking ending ever. There is, like, nowhere for that shit to go. That shit is done, man. 
Like, I don't know what, like... I should make Shepard look worse? Don't worry about it. Fucking don't worry about it, trust me. So! Uh... Mass Effect 1 had a really, like, sterile white aesthetic. Mass Effect 2 had a clearly orange aesthetic. And Mass Effect 3 has a dark blue aesthetic. Let's make sure our extras are correct. That's my graphics. I'm gonna do it. There's my gameplays. Alright, so... Normal says it's the baseline Mass Effect 3 combat experience. Advanced gameplay skills? I don't know about that. Mass Effect 3 is really easy. Well, I'll trust you guys. You've been saying this since Mass Effect 1. Veteran or hardcore? There's no veteran here. There's hardcore and insanity. I don't know what you're talking about. There's literally not a, a veteran button. I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright. All right. I'm gonna go on hardcore, because I'm a big man. Zangief, what are you doing? What's he doing? Over there. Auto level up? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna wait for the oven, okay? Yeah, that, okay. Full decisions. This is the weirdest, this is the absolute weirdest button ever. I don't understand it. Take my helmet off. Take their helmets off. Default off. I guess default off, huh? That's probably fine. What the hell is he doing? Do you need me to get him? All right, guys. Should I go with should I go with off in conversations or just default off? Say the name of the off in convo. Yeah, off in convo. There we go. All right. Same as Shepard. All right. New game. Let's import my my Maris Murf my Maris Murf effect. I finished this save file at 3.12 in the morning on August 3rd. We say... These are the choices that we made. <laughs> Love murder. Oh god. So, I did a lot of, of false starts with this. And for whatever reason, this hair color is just how it's gonna be. Because anything redder looks too red. So, we're just gonna roll with it. I am going to be a vanguard. Thank you. And we're good to go. I will hit enter. Thank you. But how bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. 
There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Twenty-one fifty-seven. Humanity discovered it was not alone. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species, but this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every fifty thousand years, about to come back. Leaders of the galaxy are fucked. Can't talk about shit. Commander. Hey, Freddy. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. God, he I'm sounds just like Archer. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. God, I look like shit. And so does Anderson! Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you thanks, up thanks, man. I appreciate the, the lie. It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? This is like a fucking well, West Wing a walk and talk. Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. And I'm back in my conversations. Look at that specimen. It's like looking into a big handsome mirror. How the fuck is this a renegade option? But yeah, we should have totally prepped more. I don't know what you guys were doing. I was in jail. Kinda, kinda in jail? You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You face down a Oh man, I saw a big pile of goo. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. Shit was nuts. This enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and you're good. Is work. the volume low, guys? I can turn yeah, it up. I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the reapers. Okay, once I get another dialogue prompt, I'll uh, turn up a little bit. You too, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Thanks, Meat Man. Anderson. Hi, Caden. Shepard. You gonna be hey. nice to me this time? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Alright. Let's... Turn them shits up just a little bit. And da -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, there's something weird going on in the faces. Like, they couldn't change them because of the save import feature or whatever, but, like, they were, like, still, like, They're like wanted to improve them and they tried to like split the difference and then the difference didn't just uh, just didn't just didn't go. Alright, that should do it 
for you guys. All right. Boop. Really? Cool. Can I have the toy? Give toy. Give, give me the toy. Give thanks. Ah. I'm never gonna get that out of his mouth. <sighs> don't worry about it, bro. I don't know nothing. Wait, hold on, Pat. And this one, top and bottom, don't reflect Paragon and Renegade. Really? But that's. They should have changed that. Huh. Didn't even come close. Yeah, I did. Don't worry about it, bro. I'm sure you had your reasons. We can always yeah, jerk off about, uh, you know, so that corpse we know. It's good to see you. Admiral. That you're alive because of. How's the sound now, guys, by the way? You know the commander? I used to. Yeah, back before that mild terrorism. Can't tell the difference? Okay. Fuck it. Fuck y'all. I just cranked it all the way up. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this everything is... Everything beyond Soul! It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Yeah, dum-dums. And they're like, what was that? I don't know what that is. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But, there must be some way. We just got to team up, guys. We got to hang out with the aliens and kiss them. Kiss them on their alien mouths. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it. That's our plan. Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon. It couldn't be that. Close. Oh wow, they're really booking. How they get past our defenses? By shooting Sir, them. UK headquarters has a visual. Oh, here's a nice little Mass Effect 1 thing. Oh, I get it. That, that's okay, I get it. Well, they're just here. They're they're just everywhere. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? Don't these seem really small compared to Sovereign? What do we do? Shoot those motherfuckers! We, can. we fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Let's all stand near the windows. Let's all stand near the windows. That was a good plan, guys. Excellent, excellent good big plan. Oh my god, that shepherd's so weird. Shepard. Doesn't sound like Keith David at all for whatever reason. Yeah, this is Vancouver. Oh no. Anyone. This is Admiral Anderson. Report it anyway. Major Alanco, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. 
You'll have to contact them. Wow. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Interesting that, that their energy cool. color is blue now instead of red. They had a big red evil era energy. Come on, Shepard. They'll pick us up if we God, the icons are so big. Oh, here's Codex. Got it. Squad, I respect myself before starting the game. Give me that rep bonus. Oh, I have to upgrade it first. Okay, so. Reputation. Weapon damage is up by a whopping 5%. All right, hold on, hold on. Everybody's mad. What about my rep? Also, what the fuck is weight capacity? Squad mate damage and shotgun damage. Go to hell. Alright. Weight capacity. And then power power damage. Give me that power. Yeah. All done. This is fitness. This is just health and melee. Okay, never don't worry about it. Nova. Hold on. What does it, it do? Chance for the energy biotic barrier to charge and spark this deadly blast. I'll need a guide. Oh. Well, I'll have to get one later. Well, I'm definitely going to max out charge as it's my core kit. Now, here's the question more damage or. Hit more targets. More damage. Targets. Shotgun damage or power damage. Mmm. Shotgun or power. Power. More power. Sorry, more shield or no cooldown. I'm thinking shield. I'm thinking shield. More shield. All right. Shockwave, pull. Now max Nova. Oh wow, everyone's really crazy about Nova. Nova is my Super Saiyan. All right. Now, before I go into the different upgrades, I'd like to shoot some of these. Map power to RB. RB. Are you serious? Okay. Back to Nova. Damage up or radius. Oh, that's tough. I'm thinking damage. Recharge speed of all powers. I'm thinking, I'm thinking recharge instead of Nova twice. Recharge. Okay. 
Okay. And I can't do it. But it'll be this one. Alright. Alright, Anderson, go! Let's move! Oh my god. Ugh! Look out! How do you stop them so powerful? You shoot it with a bigger gun, Anderson. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. I'm gonna do it. I did it. Come on, let's go. I unlocked a gun. Down here. I did it. I don't know how to do the Never more gun, but okay. Try my melee. I thought you guys said melee was improved. Hold the button? Well, that's much better, thank you. Oh, the- oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Crap, those are collector ships. Those jerks. Come on. We'll have to go I hope this Space way. Adam's doing all right. Looks clear. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep moving. Okay, okay. Calm Major, down, calm you down. read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. When you say upgrade guide, I assume you mean like findable upgrades? Huh. Take them out. Well, where'd they go? Shoot them. Come on, we gotta move. Oh, they don't even come at me, bro. Boop. Hey, man. Don't let him grab you. I won't, dude. Bye. Oh, were you impre were you impressed by my cool moves, Reaper Chan? Got to find a way out of here. Delicious med kits. Yeah, well, something about the UI on this one seems really gigantic. Watch it. Through this way. Man, I'm so ripped. Hey, kid. Hey. It's okay. Oh, man, I hate this kid. Everyone's dying. Get the fuck out of here. Gotta get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! Get here. Well, I did my best. Fuck that kid. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. I understand, man. It sucks. It's hard enough fighting a war. But it's worth knowing no matter how hard you try. You can't save them all. That's a bit more idealistic than I exactly. intended. I so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. 
The council has to help us. I I mean You sure about that? I have to be blunt, guys. I would no be under the assumption suspected. every single system is being that attacked simultaneously. Right? Gosh. Like Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Wait, Earth is first? Grab some ammo. Oh, wow. Reload, let's keep moving. I will reload. I got a renegade for yelling at that kid. Somebody told me it's not Paragon answers. That person's a liar. Come on, it hasn't been that long since you've handled a weapon. There are a lot of them, aren't they? But even, even like an enormous super force like this, it still takes like a really long time to blow up a whole planet. Good, good copy. Good one. Friendlies. Hey, dweebs. You two all right? Get down. They'll see you. Too late. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Wow, they really just didn't trust people to learn anything. I will defend Burger Ten Ramirez. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Have, have to admit, there's a really Come on. Let's get to that gunship. There's a really dramatic issue that I find with... The Mass Effect story is a primarily an on-foot story, right? So, Shepard's running around and shooting goons. But, I mean... Like, that thing... Like, fuck. Like, this is actually a story about big ships. And fucking read the Cannibal Codex? You know, why not? Cannibals are frontline Reaper units created from corrupted Batarians. Holy shit. The nickname refers to their propensity to devour the bodies of fallen comrades. This triggers a biochemical process through which the cannibals spontaneously heal themselves and grow new chitinous armor. The transformation also appears to give cannibals a greater awareness of their surroundings, leading to more strategic behavior and careful use of battlefield cover. I like that we finally get to see what other husks would look like. Husks are the aggressive, mindless foot soldiers of the Reaper armies. They are created by impaling either living or dead humans on mechanical spikes that rapidly extract water and trace minerals and replace them with cybernetics. Should have gotten These rid of most of the Batarians. Reanimate the lifeless yeah, you're right. flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into horrifying killing machines. Yeah, how come uh... the Reapers use large groups of husks to overwhelm the enemy? The How come our husk to sucks? Pain, as well as their tendency to attack in groups, makes them particularly deadly adversaries. Like, come on, we're, we're cool. Is that a what the fuck is that? Was that a fucking dragon? What the hell are those things? Oh my goodness. Where, where? Shepard, over here. I found a radio. 
I did it. It was me. Wait, dodge roll? What? That's crazy. Gun first. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot better. That is a lot better. That is much better. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Ruh -ruh. Damn it, I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. What the fuck is that? Oh, more Batarians! Hold position. Fuck that! Holy shit! Really? Oh! What the? Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I still get back my health and cover? Let's find out. Nope. Man, these shoots are much better than you. Okay, we can really use a hand on this. Man, I don't remember this at all. I'm out of here. Okay, I'm at the beacon. Where's my extraction? Oh man, I actually ran out of ammo. Anderson, no! Wait, it ends when you're out of ammo? Cavalry's here, gentlemen. Oh my god. Shouldn't have been that obvious, I don't think. I can't wait to kiss Joker on his mouth. Ooh, that's a nice Normandy. Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Come on, Anderson. Shepherd. Come on. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. Man, come on. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. 
We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. Okay. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go. That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore. Remember? That is true. Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. I guess we can all just forget about that big war crime I did. Killed all those horrible, horrible, dirty Batarians. I think my favorite part of the indoctrination theory is that this kid isn't real. That is by far my favorite idea in the indoctrination theory. Well. Just blew up all those people. Now let's run away! God, that is so absurd. Like, guys, we're gonna go save Earth. The Earth that's a smoldering wreck in about five hours. Yeah, I know those are the debris of Earth's fleet. There's still four in like a 30 block radius. Like, it's crazy. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? We're leaving. What's going on? We're leaving, Anderson I just told you. Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel. Get help for the fight. I just told Holy you. Shit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Yeah, I don't like it either, but we gotta go get the aliens so we can kiss them. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace, cause I- Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Whatever, man. These so, lats need to you. kill some Reapers. Oh, Catch it through. Shepard, sustain heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Before we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. Searching the Vrothian archives with Sosan, Dr. Tassoni. But I thought she was the Shadow Broker. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. Time to doom guy it up. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? Some blue sea. But if it helps us win this war. Grab your gear. Optimize. 
So if anybody knows a good place where I can get a guide for the upgrades and secret shit and the side missions, uh, I'd appreciate it, because I don't know where to fucking find one. I was just trying to look it up on my phone earlier. The internet thanks. <sighs> oh, they appear in a shop and you can buy missiles. Wait, I'm sorry. They put the They put they put Edie on my Normandy. The new one, the Alliance one? Oh, it's the same one? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank goodness. Still the SR2? Okay, thank God. We just repainted it. Ooh, good. Mars looks nice. On the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Oh, I gotta... Level up, 31! Hold on, I gotta get my Novas in. Okay. Increased damage from my Nova. Oh my god. Oh Christ, I don't know what to fucking... Uh... Auto these bitches? Are you sure? Passive first? I can deal with that. You can respec later if you don't like it. Let's see. The weapon damage, sh health and shields. This is who? This is James? You guys said uh, James is a tank. Should I tank him up? Make him a brick? Okay. Durability. He's bricked up. He's bricked up to the maximum. He's my Krogan. Grenades, carnage, all skills to one. You're right. You're super right. Fire ammo to the squad. Really, that's the thing. Squad mates gain incendiary ammo at 50% effectiveness. Two, three, four. I'm not going to have enough. Darn. You know what? I know what to do. I did it. Smart. Let's see, Alliance Officer. So he's a biotic? So we're gonna make him shoot guns. Biotic. Biotic. He's a sentinel? Whatever. 
Whoops. And there we go. And we can wait on you for a second. You know what? Maybe I can get a melee increase. More melee health, more damage, more health, more shields. Definitely can't go wrong with that. All right. Shrapnel grenade, reinforced armor, carnage. Uh huh. And then reinforce armor. No. Overload electronics. Weaken armor. Here we go. All right. Now what about my weapons? Got my katana back. I'm good with that. Overload. Oh, is that? Oh, that's Reeve, isn't it? I'll definitely get that instead. You learned Reeve, dude? Holy shit. Damn, that's a huge storm. What? What? Don't put your face up to the glass. Person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers invading Earth. The station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair oh, Wormspawn sent me a link for the Twitter upgrades. Sorry, the Twitter upgrades. Uh, for the upgrades on Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Give me a second. Just, I know that might take two minutes. I will be right back.
Yellow. So I took a look at that guide, and it's a game facts guide, which is uh, separated out by types of upgrades. So it's not very useful. But considering you can buy missed upgrades, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to wing it. Oh, I know no signal. Don't worry about no signal. There. Now don't worry about no signal. Also, I took the time to pee. Game Facts Guide sounds like an oxymoron. Oh! Ye have little faith. Games, game Facts Guide used to be the best. Also, I, li I was just thinking about how I didn't know how to save the game until I realized they put it at the top of the screen. Weird. Alright, first save game. I did it. the red. What's that? Looks like it's a sniper rifle. He's Alliance. Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. Mm -hmm. The more weapons I equip, the slower my powers. Got it. Cerberus. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. A little bit. A little bit convenient. You're right. Yeah, I got the sniper. up you did not you can deal with this shit wow that charge works a lot better than it used to doesn't look like they came here in force yeah just a few vehicles must have had help from the inside you could be right no way they can take this facility with anything less than a full battalion oh look at that infinite sprint sure enough I don't know shit, to. dude. You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? It was very temporary, dude. We joined forces to take down the collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the collector base. And boy, did I blow I it up. I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. Hey, he's got beef man armor. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. That's not what I said. I said we've both been through a lot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean...
Jeez. Shadow broken, crawling in vents and shit, huh? Well. Yeah, that's about right. She's with us. What up? Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. bad. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hack had ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Could! Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. What? This is my favorite question so far. How is this a thing just now? We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time, but then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a Shadow Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... Don't worry about it! I think your work here is a bit more important. I suppose it is. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. This seems too good to be true. Having a giant super weapon that could kill all the Reapers seems ridiculous. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's Almost not impossible. Weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran I mean, out of no, time. they didn't. They came nowhere near. powerful enough to destroy the Reapers. Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the archives. Then why are we all standing around? Why isn't this a walk and talk? We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the ship. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But really, it's because I want to hang out with my old Lucy. Now, Lieutenant. I hear them. We should take cover. Ah, oh, just like old times. Looks like they found us. Not a problem for someone with biotics. I wonder. You can't hide forever. Ah. Oh. Come on, pop it. You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. Dude. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. But first... Pure biotic. Um, I'm thinking just raw power upgrades all the way down the line. Recharge speed, power force, recharge on this. Uh-huh. 
warp ammo. She learns how to do it. Good for you. Singularity. Reeve. No, okay. The, the, the wheel here works a hell of a lot better than it used to. I'll tell you what. Use warp on somebody lifted by singularity? Well, in that case. Wait, can she? Oh, you I would have to do it manually. Okay. Anybody over here? Out servers get into the facility. Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Why would they do such a stupid jerk ass thing? Like, why would they just be a bunch of smelly jerk asses? They were all about huma hum humanity. Humanity. Just really hard on that you. Quick kill. Oh my goodness. That was messed up. Can't believe it. Hey, darling. Paige made a clafoodie and smells great. And of course, it's a peach clafoodie. Cl fuck. I can say it no problem in French, but in English I botch it. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Wow, this looks just like a room in Doom. To Doom 3 specifically. Ooh, Ariaki Technologies. M4 Shuriken! That does okay, hold on. Hold on. Shuriken sucks in this game? Oh, no. That sucks. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, can I... Oh, that's what the weight does. I see. No weapon vanguard? Like, wait, no weapon? Like, like, no, wait, wait, wait. Well, I guess I'm with this now. Shepard, see if you can gain access. I'm at 200 percent I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Kore. She got here about a week ago. Sure it is. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. Holy shit, it's almost nine o'clock? Right. Oh my like god, when did that happen? Nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Yeah. There's the exterior airlock. I guess we're headed this way. That did kind of look like Miranda. Cool. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That 
tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. And that's where we're headed. All right, let's go. I can't wait to shoot more Cerberus. I hate them. You know, I was hanging out with them before. Barely. Storm's causing interference. What did you say, James? Wait, don't you have warp ammo? Damn it. Oh, look, you got a little warp that ammo. going to be in here very soon. Yeah, I think it's already here. Good point. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. Ooh. Leveled up! Give me that fitness. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here. I want to have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who will be gone next week. Damn strangers who think they know it all. Don't care about what we're really trying to achieve. Dr. Ava, seriously? Don't you remember what happened last time? Hmm, looks like Dr. Ava's suspicious. Robo suspicious. You know what I'm talking about. What's up? What, that was the fight? Holy shit. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. All right, let's beep boop it. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as you uh. I do. Oh my god, she was evil. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Okay, well, let's be really, really, really real. She really should have actually realized it. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I, I shouldn't think that way. Well, I don't know how you do it. You You've always stayed focused even in the worst situations. Hey, is this... Is this prompt gonna make me give her the kiss? Because I don't want that. What do you mean, no choice? Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, this is, I have no choice to do it. Do or die isn't much of a choice. So I just keep doing whatever it takes. So practical, but I suppose you're right. We'll stop, one way or another. I wish I had your confidence. Aren't you like 110? Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Oh, that's great. I'm just trying to, I can't, I don't want to do big mouth noises while they're talking. Because then everyone will be throwing up. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to eat some more of this. Thank you, darling. Thank you for sharing your birthday clafuti with me. Uh. 
No, it's not ice cream. Heard food. You feeling okay, babe? You look off. Well, girl, take it easy. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm gonna be done this in a second. at Jarvik after this mission? Cool. Good old Jarvik. Are any of these people friends of yours? I recognize a few, but I can't say I knew them. As the only Asari here, I think perhaps I was viewed with a little suspicion. I spent most of my time researching alone, translating. And what did you discover? I got a scope from SMGs. Pieces, really. Clues. It took them centuries to come. The Protheans. In that time, the few Prothean survivors searched desperately for a way to stop the Reapers. If my translations are correct, they found a way. But in the end, they didn't have the resources to follow through with their plan. That's a bummer, man. So they were just like, well, next batch can get it, I guess. I guess. Eh. Eh. It is kind of nuts that Vigil never mentioned this. Weapon badge. Yeah, you can straight up go no weapon. But I don't want to go no weapon. That's ridiculous. So I'll keep my my pistol. Wait, can I, can I really just... No, okay, it, it, it will not... It will not give me no weapon. It, it totally refuses. Yeah, okay, pistol it is. Ooh, a data pad. Hey, stupid head! Really? Well, that's how you're doing, since I hear you guys are propagating germs in the shape of a cold down there in storage. Listen, look, and I know the protein doodads are all fascinating and all that shit. You guys have to keep stop burning midnight oil and keep sleeping regular hours, honestly. Anyway, I've already do the latest fighting HQ on Earth, and someone's depressurizing the area. Oh! That's, that's pretty great. I feel bad for that guy. He did his best. Yeah. Oh shit! Where'd they fucking go? Let's see. Oh, okay. There we go. How you guys doing out there? Data pad. Specialists are nuts. Oh, this Ava chick. Liara. Oh, man. Pole can get rid of the shields? I don't have pole right now. I 
guys. Sup? Ooh, you look tough. Do you hit him? Oh no, you can't. Oh! They sealed themselves in on the other side! They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. That's great! They're looking at you and they're like, oh man. It's always been one of those things, me and Willie talked about it a lot about Vanquish, in which I want to see what it looks like to other people. What it looks like when, like, Shepard is tearing through those guys. I bet it looks fucking crazy. Right? Like... Ooh, shotgun. Uh, that's the Sparza. We haven't been able to decipher much. The visual identification. It's interested in early humanity's evolutionary process. Organized their files and highlighted specific occasions. Seems a bit fantastic to write this. Everything indicates they seem to be trying to chat, art the carve, chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progression. More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Peruvian data droves that have never been studied. All right. I bet that's bad on the other side. All right. I'm gonna shoot them. Is this my first ME three run? It is. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully, we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Yeah, that's fine, Liara. Just got you. Gotta look for my trinkets. Missed an item. No! Wait, this one? I looked at that data pad. Exceptionally blind. Oh no. Oh wow, that is exceptionally blind. Oh no. Oh no, that is just a terrible run. Well that's cool. What's up? That's a big gun. That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Damn, Caden, that was ballsy. Don't let it target you. Yeah, no shit, dude. Did it. Stay in cover, Shepard. Roll. Roll. Let's go. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. The turret can't fire on us from here. I'm not too worried about this. Open the door. Okay, I'll do it. Sup? 
Yeah, I can see what Mr. Fields was talking about, about being a DBZ character. Definitely got that feel. Hello. Data pad. Last location seems to have run dry, but judging from the communications, the backup power supplies equipped by the first Perthium research base was discovered, I think a secondary base might be deeper underground. We're gonna need permission to go down, blah, blah, blah. I also have a three hit melee combo? Really? Like, just tap, tap, tap? Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side, tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. That's Let's simple, huh? Find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander! Yeah, I he's come something. a long way since the guy that I never, ever, ever, ever took on a mission. Except for that one mission they made you. What have you Sorry, got? Sorry, two missions they made you. He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Well. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. Well, that answers that question. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? No, bitch! How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, Kate. Don't try and explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to Helen back still in there? Somewhere. I'm right here, bro. They didn't change me, Caden. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Oh, good guess. Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over wow. and secure the station. This is the Reaper's front line, huh? They bought it. If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Affirmative. Done! What? Why do they want them there? Here they come. What? Oh. Understood. I misunderstood. Sup, fuckos? That is not a three-hit combo. Guess it's a level up reward. Thanks, guys. Oh, he's done. Everyone come hang out with me. Wait a second. I jumped down here pretty quick. Eh. Eh. 
I thought for sure there'd be a... Use the Liara? I don't like that. Oh man. Liara, you ran very quickly. Very weird. Oh, that's where we came from. My mistake. I forgot about the turret. Stop, please. Thank you. That's not working. Damn, they really didn't want us getting in here. No. -uh. Yes, it confirms my assertions about the value of the data stored here. The, good for them to bring us the new tram. Appreciate the new, better tram. upset again. You guys seem upset. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm not too worried about it. What do you guys got going on? Are we all done? No, you guys got one more? There you go, buddy. There you are. A Vindicator, huh? What the fuck's a Vindicator? Oh, it's the old assault rifle! I can still get my 200%. Okay. Shredder mod. That would be a book. Oh, 
Oh. Hey, Tim. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. But I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper. Oh wow, they just say the names right here. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. You're wasting time, you dumb, dumb idiot. Wait, can I pick this and also these, or what? Left has always been the... Yeah, okay. You're wasting time, dumb, dumb. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. Which I was clearly right not to. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prophean data. Help me then, you dumb idiot! Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most. But the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You're nuts, dude. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. We are. Have action! Interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. Tee hee 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 hee. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. What the fuck's Caden doing over there? He looks so stupid. Hey, step away from the console. Hey, you with the big ass. Stop it. Now. Turn that big ass around. She's got the data. She's oh, got they made it so that you can finally. I wonder. Oh, her shields are pretty strong. Whoa! What the fuck? There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. And I remember doing this ages ago. But not much beyond that I was doing it. Watch out. Oh, that run is bad. That's a bad run. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god! Her animation just broke! Oh! Oh, this is falling apart! I got this one. 
Are you just gonna hit? All right, James is okay. I mean, we're almost all dead, but I appreciate it. Wow, he landed that like shit! Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. We need the data. Damn, Caden, you are getting pumped. Let him go. Orders. Dispose of him. Time to go. Caden. Sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. Um. I have a really big problem with, with this robot's design, and that's that her hair was like one millimeter covering that exoskeleton, which meant if anybody brushed up against her hair, they would have felt a big clang metal thing. Like, it's ridiculous. Was that a fucking Whitest Kids You Know reference? Yeah. He actually looks kind of fine, aside from being unconscious. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Wouldn't Chakwas be on the ship? Chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Edie's like, I can get Roger. inside that We're ship. A signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Command. Kinda, dude. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Yeah. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Tiara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We have a big we gun. We Citadel. think it's a gun. I don't Sorry know what it is. That, I hope it's a gun. Boy, I hope it's a gun. Talk to the Council. Show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach what the room Citadel. Is this? And Major Olenko? This is not the old comm room. I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. 
The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be much, much worse. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite Oh, wow, the ship though. is very different. Like, I'm looking around like, man, it, I just realized we're next to the galaxy map. I think? Oh, regardless. It's pretty hard to believe. We're gonna get fucked up. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop? What if it's a really big gun? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. The second time that's been mentioned. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. Let me I'm run sure around the, the ship! Will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Let me move around my fucking ship! God damn it! Well, I don't see Reapers attacking it. So that's an improvement. This is my first playthrough of ME3 or not. I played the original game about nine years ago for 90 minutes. We are very shortly coming up on uh, the part that I stopped at. Why well, only 90 minutes? Only needed that much to get the Mass Effect footage for uh, the Machinima video. Barely got a pulse here. Oh, he looks Welcome way out. shittier now. Where you we beat him it? up on the way here? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. Yeah, I can't with. tell which one's got bigger tits. We need to see the council. I think right. it might be James. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Oh, hey, Captain Bailey. Bailey. Good to see you again. Somewhat corrupt cop. Yeah, you too. Though it's commander now. Oh, congrats on being a corrupt commander. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Yes. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. Udina. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. That's a very good idea. I'm going to do that. Yes. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you Exit around, stage Shepard. right. No doubt. <sighs> Reputation? Shepard. Check in on Caden regularly like your fish. Got it. All right. Oh, it's a real map. Thanks for the Alliance funding. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palabra. Reports say not to depend on comms. 
I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? Oh, That's love. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This Vina, is Docking Bay how you doing? 24 Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. All things considered, that seems not so bad. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. Well, there would be a recent influx, wouldn't there? If you wish to there? contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What about routine verification? What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Fair enough. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access Even though I'm dead. information about this bay. This is the airlock I guess they fixed it. to the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Is that fucking Helena Blake? That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Fuck! Ooh, look at this. My frame. I'm I'm running like 110 frames here, and the frame rate drops, and I look over at this fucking thing. That is Helena Blake's old model. Yeah. He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to, Commander Shepard. All right, so this is going to be a really weird situation because we're running into a person uh, in game that is played by a known person in the real world. Um, so I don't know anything about Jessica Chobot at all. Um, I'm sure she's a nice lady. Though what I will say, if I remember correctly, the face capture and the Mass Effect shit did not do her any fucking justice. And... the This decision aged like fucking milk. Because they traded in, like, a personality over a character people already liked. And I have not heard anyone talk about Jessica Chobot in years. So, like, they should have just put Emily Wong in. Like, if she, should, if she wanted a cameo, or if they want to put a cameo, it shouldn't have replaced an existing character. What's oh, going man, on that here? Just, that Commander, just like that's shit. what I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. Well, that I translation was bad. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? You know, I remember when I ran into this way, way ago that... 
Uh, they, they throw in all this justification for why she would be able to come on the ship. But if it was Emily Wong, the player is like has like a 90% chance of having encountered Emily Wong in, the, in one of the games prior. And it would make sense for Shepard to give Emily Wong the exclusive because he's worked with her multiple times before. Like, it's, re it's really weird. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. So how did Emily Wong die off screen in a tweet? can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. She sl she rams her ship into a reaper? Fuck yeah, dude. That if they were going to do that, that should have been on screen. Should be like this is Emily Wong and I'm here to report fuck the reapers. Like that. That would have been great. Holy shit. Oh, cool. Man, look at all them. Look at all them Turians. All right. Oh, boy. Embassy, docking bay, Memorial Hospital is a line. It's a stray line. I'd like to go to the hospital, please. Oh my god, I'm Emily Wong and I'm here to report Ligma, and then the Reaper goes, Wah, Ligma balls! Oh, that's hilarious. Like, Harbinger would say, assuming direct control. And then Emily could run out and be like, assume direct control of Ligma. And Harbinger goes, what is this Ligma? Does it hurt Shepard? Dr. Michelle and Shock was... Fuck yeah, Dr. Dr. Team. The British and the French teaming up to have the same haircuts. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically Wait, injured. where'd Dr. Michelle go? as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What are you up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. So there's a choice between Dr. Michel and Chakwas, huh? Twenty-five war points worth. What? Only Chakwas can join. Oh, it's a choice because Chakwas got killed in two, and you still have a doctor. I see. Well, she belongs on the fucking Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't. Have I didn't more. save her from the goddamn the word, fucking collectors. 
so she can hang out in some fucking lab. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Quig Theater says, but French doctor, though. Regardez, Quig, la chose que vous avez pas raconté, pas raconté, c'est quoi de ça? Que tu te souviens pas? C'est la française, ça veut dire rien pour moi. Oh, oh no. Oh, what's happening? Oh no. Oh no. That was weird. What I was saying is like, why would a, why would French doctor do anything for me? My doctor's French. Every doctor I've ever had in my life is French. Good to see you, Doctor Michelle. It's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. Is he okay? How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. Tell me about all the refugees that are coming in because the, inter the internet? The universe is being destroyed. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? No. We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. You should be. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Good old war profiteering. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. This lady's going out of her way not to produce those H's. The French hate the H. Unless there's not supposed to be an H. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. So, when you're like talking about, uh, let's say, a hat, you would ask, you would often say, "Oh, do you have your hat?" But if you were talking about the anglophones, you would say, "Oh, did you see the hanglish?" So the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? W what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Wow. All right. Keep coming back to that one. Well, let's check on uh, Aiden Welcome first. Peruvian whiskey. All profits I'm buy from that. sales go to help new medical research. Be safe. Okay, so I have to leave and come back. Never upgrade Metagel. Well, thank you for telling me that now. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freeman. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the Man, I thought that was more than for a second. Meet you back here. Dude, lie down. Incursions by enemy 
Whoa, Caden, you're fucking jacked. Give me some Thank of the milkies. You. Don't know if you can hear me. Oh, it's supposed but to be emotional. You can't tell me to get the hell out either. I'm gonna take my chances. We need you, Caden. We need your rippling die, pecs, and your you lats, and your abs. We need you in this. And whatever that V thing is. Seeing you in action again. Get out of here, you! It reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could Get out! I'm doing- it's this dude! I could use you. Get the fuck out of here! Anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. I'm doing a thing here! And that's an order. Run away. Run away from the pain. I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. That sucks. Still got to do the choppies. Old fashioned choppy times. I got to say, the ant now that I'm sitting in it and I'm like in a relaxed head place. For this, like, the ambient dialogue's been excellent so far. Oh, I've seen Ashley's bimboification. The hair is ridiculous. Alright, apparently people said that the... A save game and load will... We were deployed to tip tree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. I will go away now and come back. Tip, so tip tree's a location. Got it. Laura Bailey sounds like Ashley Birch here. I'll be quite honest. I am now getting confused between Laura and Ashley. They're both very talented, but their voices have like a really symbol, sim, a similar like I want to say timber. Okay, I am gonna have to. Okay, it was the conversation that caused that. Save the game. Load the game. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Select as quick save. That rules. Hot water and everything, and that's when Niara, near Niara came. Niara was another hunter on your ship. Yeah, a friend. I. I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. Uh -oh. But it wasn't her. 
Not anymore. The council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a... Hey, they're talking about me on the news. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies. She's got this glow in the Reapers. Yeah, Artie Yakshi. to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just... dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Okay. That's pretty rough. The council called the invaders Reapers. The same term. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night, and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun, because those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. Holy shit. <laughs> that kid fucking rules. You killed him with a stick?! So you went back to the farm. We snuck down the hill. We were hungry. This could be like an entire campaign. They turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They'd cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neyra was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within 10 meters of her. If I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. Apparently, there are more Artagdakshi around than just the daughters that uh, Samara. The prisoners mentioned. were indoctrinated. Oh no! And once the alarm was sounded... Nehira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. The humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics. Flung them around. I'd been horrified when Nehira tore the farmers apart, but goddess, I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Nyaira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them, and I... And you survived. All right, there's one more. I can feel it. You tried to run. Again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. I was so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering, and then they I I saw her through a hole in the boards. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. Oh, and Hillary, man. Farm girl, stop crying. They were going to hear. What did you do? What do you think? Commander 
Hey, this game actually does have like a bunch of cool shit in it. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants Oh, fuck off. You don't want no metal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Hey, Ira. At least she can blame the Reapers, but I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Do they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. Interesting. Because, like, the instant somebody with PTSD starts begging you for a gun... Uh, don't give him a gun. Right? This seems... Slightly different. But you should not give her a gun. Hello, darling. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Like, give her an unloaded weapon, maybe. Tops. Now arriving at docking bay D24. I want to go stand next to that couple and eavesdrop on their bullshit. So, you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? Well, thank you, doll. We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. Mm -hmm. See you next week. <laughs> oh, some people just deciding to to go and disco Elysium in the chat. Like somebody highlighted me with like, hey, you know that whole that huge setup you listened to that was really cool? Here's the payoff later in the game. It's like, all right, you you enjoy your week long time out. I'll put the gate if you want, and I'll keep him down here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. This looks different than the last time I was here. Oh, the above part is where I was last time. Man, I thought that was Garrus for a second. Holy shit. Oh, no, wait, down there was where I was, I guess. Human. Hey, Volus. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. I'm sorry. Priority, the Citadel. Okay. Hey, Vina. I don't have to talk to people anymore to get side quests? That's kind of lame. about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. 
He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. <sighs> he hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind. This of you. sucks. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Be nice, or I'll just start modding random people to ban you. Such I'll nice feel nothing. There is no anti-humanity oh. conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Yeah, that's about right. Damn press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Then why take the job? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Fair with it. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I did pick Anderson as my council member. But I think no matter what you do, Udina ends up on the next round. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. How's the war? Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Why is the Citadel? Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Mm -hmm. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Was he? Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. What? Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. That's how that... Hmm... You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. 
I'm losing myself and things I can control. So, and at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Gotta go. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. That's me. I can't even imagine. Like, I assume that the would be like Sarah lived in. Uh, I don't know, uh, France right now, and I heard that Canada was getting blown up. Like, oh man, that'd just be like, like how could you think about anything else? I mean, we were just in Vancouver, and Vancouver's getting fucked. Ooh, I'm a Spectre. That's true. I'm in the Spectre zone. I guess. What is this? What am I looking at? Spectre terminal. Welcome. Secure for Spectre. Boring fleet. Until. Narnima, Citadel, large credit transfer from the fleet. Purchase tech, high-end weapon mounts, and kinetic barrier from several servo several ship service. On Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim unidentified was observed. Searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The the yeah, they're going to war. Sorry, Huntress permit. Huntress Ian Togoni is a patient at Horta Memorial on stress leave. She was forced to kill a human civilian to prevent both of them from being discovered. Togoni is re repeatedly repeated a permit to request. Request has been denied. Spectre authority can override these and give her a right to a firearm? <gasps> I'm not gonna do it. Spectre wreck? Man, that shit's expensive as fuck. What do you mean, do it? I don't have money for gun. Oh, shooting range. Hello, doggy. Okay. Oh, wow. I can't believe I can actually get... Shotgun increases damage. I can live with a 5% reduction in shotgun. But do I want a shotgun? No, actually. What I want, actually, is the Avenger. Because... Because what I want is something to shoot far away when I don't, you know? Right. I did not get the shotgun upgrade in the skill tree. There's a light sniper you can use that's good for that? Really? Would it be not this? Need attachments to make your guns ladder? Well, I'll go with this motherfucker for now. Don't use the raptor. I don't even know which one it is. What the fuck is that? Oh, lower weight. Okay, well. Yeah, we're gonna go with the Vindicator. Put the targets back further. Ah. 
See, at that distance, I'm not going to be charging in. How does an attachment cause a gun to lose weight? That's simple. You replace a heavier, heavier barrel with a barrel that is made out of lighter materials. Bam. Done. Or frame, or what have you. <sighs> Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. I'm not gonna like what I'm about to see. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt We of are the being attack. fucked out there, By man! Your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Yes! Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? Why, the first we're giant galactic together, war against the super enemy? And we're all gonna to split up and not do sort. things as a group, you Capable stupid fucking idiots? The Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? No! Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. It's better than They'll literally every nothing, guys. Being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. Well, that's pretty I bad. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Don't like that. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? I'm willing to uh, the believe they would have dumped either of any of the others. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. Uh-huh. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. How does saving the Fedora man help me? So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence this is just Dragon Age. Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. 
The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. You better. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Oh, I see you got a bigger R uh, you know, bigger office now. I want that codex. The Reaper The Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Cannibal. The Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Capital ships are sovereign class Reapers two kilometers in length. They typically target the dreadnoughts, defense installations, and industrial cities of organic civilizations. Experts believe the Reapers harvest a single species of organics during each cycle of extinction to create these massive ships. That's pretty Some nuts. Some capital ships are capable of launching small drones equivalent to fighters. Destroyers are 160 meters long and so those would be the smaller ones I the saw the the, the blue ones. They engage cruisers and other smaller ships, as well as communications posts and enemy command centers. Research suggests destroyers are created from those species that are not harvested to make capital ships. Troop transports carry husks to unconquered planets and bring victims of the harvest to Reaper processing centers. They vary in length from 200 meters to one kilometer, but unlike capital ships and destroyers, do not appear to be self-aware. Instead, other Reapers operate troop transports remotely. Processors, also called slaughter ships, are mobile centers for mass DNA harvesting. Like troop transports, Great. processors appear to be remotely operated by sapient Reapers. Cool. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships I'm armed. worried Work that he sounds reasonable. Will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. Makes sense. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. That's they're true. They're bad now. at just open Use war. That. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human Am I history. fully blind now? What Today, do you mean? you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us... Oh, because of my special eyes? Planets. Yeah, this is the same exact character from Mass Effect 2, by the way. Anderson would be proud. Oh, I missed so a cool line? Deliver. What, what line you I missed? You think you can do that? You need a character, a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. 
Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. And with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. How about your personal bullshit? Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. All right, see go. you, Dina. I'll be here. You dweeb. What's my mission status like? These are the only two. Palavan. These are priority missions, huh? What does that mean, Palavan? Sorry, I mean... Shrike Epistle's a cluster, I think. Commander Shepard! Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. I bet they do. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want? Ugh. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Did I just kill that reporter? All right. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. Oh my God! There's like Forever. a tinnitus, like what about all the people brain suffering? going red politics, noise in the background the for that. What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do, Kalisa? We're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. Yeah, you go get smacked by the Turian Ambassador. We haven't always seen eye to eye. Is that because but you're a I'm bitch? glad you're on our side. War asset. Apparently, I need lots of war assets to do a big, a big good. Well, right, let's go check in on Caden before we leave. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. That is a not good run animation. That is not good. Oh no, they locked his nipples away. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna dump! I'm gonna shit! Vega's in the embassy and I missed him? Really? I didn't see him at all. Welcome. Come One on. moment. And that's the hospital. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. How do I I'm blind. Oh no. I gotta tell Paige about this. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Open up your map. Got it. Apparently he's right here. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Uh, 
Embassy offices and James. It says he's right here. Other oh. oh, there he is. You guys are liars. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't, don't really like the it. Citadel, buddy. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. It's pretty fucking hard to believe. I believe but a bunch myself. of jackasses. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Keep it real on the Citadel! Gotta keep it real. Oh, hey, Susie, what up? Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Playing some quick mass effects. Listen, honey, please. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. Yeah, yeah. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like we're Get in here. space white all of a sudden. Come in here. Pretty Big much. hugs. You should see what they've got us using for heavy munitions. It's all Get in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in hot combat zones. No, of course not. Guys, but sometimes tell me. They need us to breach enemy fortifications. Tell me about your love. Goddess, you said you were just going to be building emergency give me, outposts. Give me, give me news. Man, you can get really close in here. Like, right in here. Look at that. Blizzard Shepard? Oh, God. Is that gonna be a thing? Oh, man. Oh! Fuck! Why would Renegade Shepard give a single shit? I don't care that they they disproved indoctrination. I'm j this this kid's a brain parasite. I'm going to I'm going to put that into my head cannon. Like it is such a dramatic improvement that this is indoctrination. Also, man, the edges of this screen look real bad. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I'm sad. I'm dead. I'm dead and sad. Sad dead. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, no. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, no. The kid didn't even burn to death. He probably just got horribly crushed by the insides of the shuttle. Where's my fucking fish? Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fucked up, man. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. I'm getting dramatic There's more nightmares. To it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Are you still calling me Commander? Come on, we Shepard? fucked. I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Okay, what Commander accent Shepard, is that? I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. That's a good British. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. That's one of them good Britishes. It's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? Yeah, tell me. I don't know what's going on with this shit. The regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line quantum entanglement communicators. Thank you. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm. I like her a lot better than Kelly. Commander, for as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Yeah. Edie's an AI, fully self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Yeah. She requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I Wait, how did you not action. notice this during the retrofits? Thanks, Edie, and I apologize for all those times I talked about how attractive your voice was. And shall I give you a tour? I think you'll game just by the kicked me things. out for no reason. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment. Armory's in the shuttle bay now. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. And Speaking all the rooms which, have been rearranged. I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. All right, I'm gonna spend the rest of the night exploring the Normandy and talking to people. Boudina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't leave my own, I wouldn't leave Earth to help them either. So you know, I get it. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. 
gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies. I'm really glad Hackett gets to have more of a role here. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. I'm oh wow, I'm in the CIC. Somebody said exhaust all the investigation things, and there weren't any, so good job on that. This would be the war room. And this is my little, little talkie spot. This looks like it was retrofit. There's a cable going across the fucking floor. Oh, I don't even want to touch that. Gentlemen, there'll be no fighting in the war room. <sighs> the people, armies, weapons, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively their assets will perform in the final battle. Systems Alliance represents humanity's economic, political, and military reach throughout the galaxy. It's led by Hackett. Alliance Engineering Corps, 103rd Marine Division, Alliance First Fleet, lost a third of its vessels for protecting the councils. The Third Fleet, third of its vessels protected the council. Third of its vessels protected the council. PR Lady, my ship. Oh, it still kept the Thanix cannons from the last time! And the armor! And the shields! I had many minerals! I have improved her performance. And that's it. Just the Alliance. Wow, we ain't got shit out here. Oh, Morden's room's been turned into the conference room. It's weird running around the ship with after these retrofits. It's they're very the the first one was clean. The second one was upgraded for posh, and this is a warship. This is a fucking just make it work. I don't care what the fuck it looks like. Just fucking make it work. Damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. I have to agree, they're completely right. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. I'd love to kill those bitches. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Yes, Just wanted yes, to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. Do you get sick easily? I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. You had to buy a lot of medical supplies. I could have helped with that. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. 
Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, <laughs> I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Oh man, that's pretty good. How'd you join the military? Up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. How are you feeling about the war? About a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth well, it. Well, thank you. What was your lab job like? You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, nerd. Me, anyway. Look at this nerd. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. That would explain My the accent. My parents were from London. They loved and Earth, that. but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right Hey, now. hey, chill, chill. London was in the trailers and the commercials. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. All right, thank you. Carry on, specialist. Say water bottle. Say water bottle. Fucking say water bottle. Private. Alliance forces stretch thin. These missions will open doors for the Alliance. Service labs on Sanctum. Reinstatement uh, back in the military. Fleet Admiral Hackett's declared threat condition Sabre 1. Enemy presence confirmed. All alliance are report and go kill. My dog from K9. Contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface and dry dock VI ED emailed me how I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails, and 750 volt outlets. Robot dog? Alliance News Network, where's the Quarian fleet? Members of all races are fleeing the stations. Force Exodus might seem familiar to the... No, no, no. Nobody knows what the Quarians are up to! Welcome back, Gift. Joker suggested the small welcoming gift would be appropriate to happen have on hand. Should be reinstated, as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. I chose something from the Alliance Systems Catalog. Soldiers who have held the N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hoodie. There's my hoodie. You have an upgrade waiting. Uh, Dr. Tassoni's office. Eden Prime. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime. Last forces are stretched too thin. In the process, we learned Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. Priority Eden Prime. I see. Joker sealed off in the front deck? That's interesting. Wow, look at this bullshit. Edie doesn't have her pod anymore. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? How is well, that even still a thing? Me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. I do want you to do that, Joker. I do want to do that. Commander? I do want to do that. I want to do that right now. Hey, my head isn't broken anymore! Congratulations, me! Whoa, that whole area is sealed off? Oh, the CIC is taking a hit. 
server slab, priority Eden Prime. Let's hit the cabin. Let's go take a dump. See how fucking dark the deck is? There's a reason for that. I assume it's to see the heads-up display better. Can I get an F in chat for my fish? My ships, too. Where are my ships? Are these DLCs? The last one's DLC? That looks cool. That looks cool, too. They have gameplay effects? How can you tell? Power recharge, huh? Weapon damage. Weapon damage. Shields. Shields. Yeah, these are the ones I want. Thank you. This is where I got all the cussy all over. What? What the fuck did they do in my fucking room? Look at this cables and shit. Oh man. No. 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 Wait, isn't that what I'm wearing right now? Oh, slightly different. There it is. Fuck that. Hoodie it up. Health boost. Fuck. Does my helmet come off with this shit on? Shield regen? Don't need that. Melee damage! No, 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 no. You're red. Even the red. Bright red? No. I want dark red. That's not dark red. Where's dark red? Is this dark red? Thank you. And then you're gonna be... There we go. Looks like shit. Aww. I'm just gonna go with the default. Why is it green? Lights? Okay. Let's 
fine. Wait, where's my is my bathroom fucked up? Okay, thank God. They did kind of fuck up my bathroom. And this shit does not look finished at all. Let's hit that crew deck. Well, I recognize Ash. And I recognize... Jenkins. But, uh... Assume these are people who died at various points. Oh, there's Presley. And this would have been a much bigger list if I had not fu fucking saved the gang from the collectors, I assume. <laughs> Alright, here's Thane's old room. Destiny Ascension model! They just fucking put my shit all over the fucking... Oh, you idiots. Here's the bathroom where I'm going to take a shit. Thank you. Just roleplay it. Here's Kasumi's room. Still... Still for chillin'. But now... It has a poker table that we can put dogs at. Alright. This is the old crew quarter for the generalized recruits. Same as it ever was. Nobody's talking right now. Women's bathroom, which I'm no longer allowed in after some incidents. Samara's room currently has nothing. Though it does have some books. Possibly magazines. Alright, you guys still chilling at the mess. There's the galley. These are emergency sleepy time pods for naps. This is the Garrus zone. Already ready for Garrus. That's hilarious. Hey, dark chocolates. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. But why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. Would you calm down, please? I'm just please? going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scalpel. Oh no! I still turn That's evil it. if I mean. You're the picture of health. How's the medical supplies? How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? Hell yeah! We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. Oh, man. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their She's resources She's super right. Fuck, fuck those assholes. So no. I don't regret it one bit. What about your family? You've family, never mentioned family. any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. 
I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Doc. Ooh. Oh, just straight up free bonus powers. And I assume this is the respec machine. And it's free for the first time, I bet. Oh, man. I just had, like, an intense reaction when I saw that. I was like, oh, could it be? And it wasn't. It wasn't. What if it's Legion? I love him. Somebody said I should explore this room more, and they were right. I can get up next to this thing and bang the fucking Garrus in the back over there. Right here. Just bam. 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 Makes his weird bird noises. I don't know what this thing is. That looks bad. I don't know what it is, though. Calibrate this. Wow! Definitely very different. Hmm. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. Oh. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, oh, I can no longer more upgrades than. for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. Thanks, in the meantime, Cliff. Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. You got real close. Go well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, that's a shocker. Whole worlds are being lost to the Reapers. What more will it take? Who knows? Hell, maybe the Council's just taking petty revenge for Shepard hanging up on them all those years ago. Wait, Shepard did what? Oh, sorry. I think we're going through some dark matter. Hello? Hello? Ah, I love you, Joker. Armor upgrade. Armor mod kit? What the... What? Are these things I got? Oh, these are free! Oh, definitely the shields. This is ridiculous, Liara. This is fucking nutso shit. For real. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Cliff, clean up these old notes. University of Cerise agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean Dig on Dreadatrop. Very exciting. Jashan was right to suggest the Prothean artifacts be on the first, third age, not fourth. One embarrassed mistake. At least he seemed to approve of the rest of my paper. Going on the Therum expedition. Never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Prothean unit. Ruins there, but the University of Sirius must have secured the funding. Goddess, this human shepherd has the key to comprehending Protheans on an instinctual, subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the commander touched the beacon. I'll try to learn more about the cipher. I reviewed old Shadow Broker's footage of the collectors. It's chilling to know that they're Protheans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. 
And I made contact with Tazik yesterday. Look on a sister's priceless. Not happy you put me in charge of scouting the terminus, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. Never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. Black market's unreliable. And it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. Alliance will be able to rely on a source of crucible materials for long. Things get worse. Some of the other ops think we should cut our losses, but I just keep asking them, when did odds ever stop the shadow broke? Oh, thanks, Liar. I appreciate the, the assist on that shit. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without You're data black feeds. black now. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Well, do they ever finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left Yeah, for us. real, I totally agree yeah, with that. I don't know what it does. I bet it does something stupid. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt. Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. I know you and Tally grew close. Sure did. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? Sorry, man. That purple shit just hit different. A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you. For letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway. I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. What an awkward end to that situation. Please, enjoy your day. Somebody said that if you don't give them a definitive answer, they can have a cat fight. And then you have to choose. I would love that. Down engineering. Grunt's room isn't even open. Oh man. How's engineering out here, you guys? There's no one. Oh, okay, hey man. Adams, you're still here. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or. Maybe you should be saying that to I'm me. sorry, not he Engineer still here. Adams. You came back. What are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me. Asked me to help with your mission against the Collectors. Oh, shit. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Somebody asked, why'd you even bother to romance Liara in the first game at all? Because I'm not going to go a whole game without nutting into some weird alien shit. Why do you play these games? So why'd you refuse? Is it because they were terrorists? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Don't worry about it, man. I get it. You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. How's your family? Family. Family. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Oh, good for you, man. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Okay, so yeah, it is weird that it's right there. Well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. 
It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Pretty good ship. How do you feel about the AI? What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Isn't that crazy? We've been coexisting with this uh, super powerful AI for like a year. And there's been no problem. Because we didn't just pull out a gun and try and shoot her for no reason. Isn't that crazy? Aye, aye, sir. Isn't that nuts? Huh. Yeah, Tally, isn't that crazy? Wouldn't it be fucking weird if Jack was just down here? Just hanging out? What the fuck is that? Shadow Broker ship, I found it! Found my Shadow Broker toy. Wait, hamster? What? Oh! Space hamster! I thought I was losing my fucking mind. Did I get it? It's hard to... Oh! Yeah. Oh shit. Where'd it go? I had a hamster once as a child. Oh! God! Space hamster! What do I do with it? It's in my room? Nice. I love hamsters, they're cute. You took Zaid's room? It's kind of a weird choice. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal. Oh, Except Jesus for the unshackled shit. AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead God, story God, her right A pose now. is like That's exaggerated too. It's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Gotta support, please. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elkor cry. See, I would actually really like to know about that. Yeah, that- this is cringe. Like, I don't understand- like, genuinely, I don't understand why her model is so fucked up. And I, it's sad to say that her voice acting quality is not quite up to the standards of everybody else. This is fucking shit. I'm balling down here. I can't believe they just threw all my bullshit all over the fucking ship. I'm super pissed. 
that I'm finding my fucking ship parts down here. That's bullshit. I'm absolutely furious. Oh, you doing fucking rips? They're all, they're all just, all my shit just got fucking tossed in the basement. It's a bunch of crap. Oh, this shuttle bay is fucking huge. Robodog! Bork. Bark. Hey, Robodog. Mm, I see. Hold off on that weapon bench. You you nerds. All right, let's talk to Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. At ease there, soldier. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can mm. network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. No. My experience? It made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot Not when we left Earth. Not the goddamn. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. No. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. <sighs> you know, Trainer and Cortez actually seem pretty cool, and I like them. But I do dislike the idea that they had to create new characters for gay players. Andre, uh, sorry, on Andrew of Bob says, well, Garrus is hetero. You can't change that. Sure you can. Like that. I mean, let's be, let's be extraordinarily real. Garrus is willing to fuck a human being. That's way, way weirder than being gay. <laughs> That's way, like, like, come on. Like, for fuck's sake, to, to goddamn Garrus, like, he might look at a, a guy human and a girl human, and he doesn't fucking give a shit. He's just like, oh, their skin's, like, not made out of bones. Oh my god, Garrus is a reverse furry. Lace Aurelius, you fucking did it. Reverse furries. If you think... But yeah, they did, they did that to Caden. They made you... You can fuck Caden here. And they just said, yeah, Caden, Caden, Caden will touch a penis. Fuck it. Tell me about your service record. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SS. Mammaly? Oh, that's... Oh, Trident, that's terrible. Mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Reverse furry also implies he has a skin suit. You don't know that he doesn't. What happened to the m You don't know that he doesn't. <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, 
Its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Oh, well. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Tell me about the armory, man. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> The first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You know, there's something, you know, I actually... James... James, like, just doing, like, infinite pull-ups a couple feet over. Be like, yeah, you love this shit! It's like, okay, I'm, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. You were stationed on Earth. You have family there? You know why? Because he's a genetic child. freak. Lost my parents. And he's years. not normal. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. That's pretty fucked up. All right, you carry on. Keep up the hard work. Now that Don't I've investigated yourself. all of the uh, yes, Commander. options and learned two things. One, gay. Two, single. You know what's funny? For Bioware games, Dragon Age 3, sorry, Dragon Age Origins, I actually ended up screwing that elf dude um, because the the straight romance options in that game were terrible. They were fucking awful. Yeah, Zevran. Yeah. Like, they were god, god awful. Don't you diss Morgan? You didn't even spell her name right, bro. Can't even, don't even care. Can I pet that dog? Where'd dog go? Dog. Hey there. I want, I want to pet you. Robot dog. Can I pet you? No. Alright. Tell me about fucking pull-ups, bruh. Oh, behind the head. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primal. Look at this Calvary. fucker! <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> Look at him fucking go! Here for a reason. <clears throat> I thought I'd say hi. Just came down to talk. <gasps> See my ghost head there? Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. This dude's Forgot a fucking that. genetic freak. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> And he's not normal. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yeah, fuck it. I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CEO. You know I'm made out of, like, cyborg shit, oh, right? Yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. 
Oh. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. <sighs> the best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Oh, that sucks, dude. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. <sighs> I ruined his sacrifice. You didn't know. Oh, you no. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are. We need you alive. I'll give you a little toss there, buddy. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, loco. I like that name. It means sweet man. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge. You can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Oh, I unlocked his... Wait, really? I unlocked his special power? Calls Femchup Lola? That's pretty good. Y'all learn all about a terrible OVA? I can do that. That's not what it means? Yeah! A loco person is somebody who's very calm and reasonable all the time. Guys, I speak a romance language, I think I would know. Hello again, Shepard. Uh, tell me about the Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? Yeah, it's Glyph. Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Leo? Yeah, doing any crimes? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? Really? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. How? What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Yeah, me either. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. I bet. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. Is Farron okay? So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. So what's new, girl? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks. But he had surveillance there all along. Oh, well. I'll see you later. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Oh, look at that! Are, are they tracking her location?
That's cool. Wish my monitors did that. No, they're not. They're supposed to track me? Well, it makes more sense that they would track her, doesn't it? Feel free to look around. Oh, they totally. They're totally broken. Oh, yeah. Oh, I broke it. I'm sorry. I'm fucking so sorry. Oh, no. Alright, I've talked to everyone, I think. I'm gonna check out to see how the galaxy map works. Clusters are already conquered by the Reapers, can be accessed using the stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, damage, valuable intel. Huh. That's where we are. That's the Anos Basin. Somebody said to get a mod that was, um, instant scan. Well, I'm gonna s let's, you know what? Let's save the game. And suffer through it a little bit. And then... By the way, what's the... What's the timing basis on, um, what's the timing basis on, uh, the priority stuff? Is it mission based or is it actually time? Priority missions last every time. Oh, because a priority mission will kick forward events. Man, that is the opposite of what I would think. Fuck. That is, like, legit super awful. Normies equip a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects. Use this to uncover all sorts of shit. Be aware that every time the pulse is used, the chance the Reapers will enter investigates increase. Reaper enters the system, flee and wait until you have completed a mission. Oh. I don't... Is there... Is there necessarily anything... Oh! So, because this isn't a Reaper area, there's nothing to be here, is what you guys are saying. Okay. There is stuff in non-Reaper areas? Well... There's nothing there. Well, tell you what, let's, I assume the first one should be Eden Prime. All right. So we're not going to do that today, but I am going to want to scan that. As it's 11.30 and I want to be able to smooch Paige before the end of her birthday. I just want to scan it once. You prefer doing Palavan first person. So you can have Garrus when you go to Eden Prime. 
You can't take Javik to Palavin. See, that's a good detail. So this is this is a Reaper system. I found something. Oh, can they be anywhere? Are you serious? Oh no, this sucks. I don't understand. Aha. Wait, what? Lost what I get. Protein data file. Oh, cool. Now I know that it's 100%. All right. Let's exit out. Let's go, um... I can't even see where the next one is. Wow. That's over there, dude. Confirmed. What the fuck is all that shit? Oh, definitely, definitely gonna try and install a mod on this shit. If I ping again, Reapers will show up. That sucks. Just make sure you ping accurately, but how would I know that? Remains of a Reaper Destroyer? Terra Nova. So, am I not allowed to scan this until... Oh, that's a loud noise. Alliance Cruiser Shanghai. Oh. 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 Got it. What? What? Signal confirmed. This So, wait, okay, hold on. <sighs> right, okay, so it's the same, st 
Oh fuck, I didn't even think. I didn't even think. The longer you're in the system, the faster they move. Okay, so if I go this way, right, and I'm out. Evasion successful. Oh. Reapers eluded. How do I get back to the the bottom one? Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Oh, I'll never I'll never Reapers eluded. So I gotta do all of these every mission. Like every single time. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna do those on camera. Holy shit. They leave after you do some missions, but there's only so many missions in the game. We're gonna be, that's gonna be an off screen fucking thing for sure. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. All right. Let's thank Peepo. We can look at the hamster next time, guys. Oh my, there's a lot more Peepo to think. To thank. All right, guys. I, uh, give me five, give me two minutes. And I'll be right back, okay?
let's go. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed uh, the stream tonight. Uh, we'll be getting back to Mass Effect on Saturday afternoon. Tomorrow, we're going to be dark, doing Dark Souls Cinders. It's not going to be a full playthrough, I'm just going to fuck around with it. Show off some of the bullshit. Uh, and next week, I have a bunch of shit planned. Like a ton of shit. Uh... Don't know if they're going to be full or just take a look at, right? Uh, we're going to take a look at at least Death Trash, Ender Lilies, Grime, and The Forgotten City, which apparently is super de duper excellent. So that'll be fun. And we'll still do Mass Effect, of course. All right. Let's thank people like Red Squirrel, who subbed, says Pog, LOL. Thanks, man. By the way, I got a, uh, I got sent codes for Death Trash uh, way before early access. I've been fucking around with it for, um, I don't know, I, I played it for about an hour and a half, um, like two weeks ago or something like that, and uh, that thing's going to be fucking cool. That thing's going to be fucking real, real cool. It's like a top-down action RPG Fallout that controls really well and is just the grimiest, filthiest fucking shit game. Like, oh man. Looking at Death Trash is like looking at the sound wave for most Genesis soundtracks. <laughs> it's just that grimy fucking just grunge fucking garbage. It's great. I didn't even know Death Trash had co-op. I'll be honest. Although she looked at it and she was like, ew, that looks like trash. And I was like, Uh, thanks, Red Squirrel. Garbage Nirvana kicked in five bucks. Appreciate it, Garbage. When no one was looking, Kai Lang took 40 cakes. He took 40 cakes. That's as many as four tenths. And that's terrible. I'm not seeing a lot of love for Kai Lang. The other Christian sub today marks my final Prime sub before I realize I don't actually use my Amazon subscriptions enough to warrant my money. Thank you for the ass erect streams. You're welcome. Higori Yoru, sub 14. Says, Hello, Pat. Hello, Higori. Joshman kicked in seven months. Seven months of Pat branded content. Good luck saving the galaxy. Holy hell, what are those? Batarian mutated freak beasts? That's right. Batarians. Altees and Rise kicked in 500 bits. Was this era of games just the Keith David Everywhere system? Yeah, hey, I have a, I have a hint for you. Do you know who fucking rules and is one of my favorite actors and voice actors ever? Keith David. Keith David is incredible. And, like, I, he's a fantastic actor and a, a great voice actor. If you haven't seen it, you motherfuckers need to go and check out the They Live parking lot scene. Because it fucking kicks ass oh man gustav is correct keith david's only problem is that you always know it's keith david i didn't know he could sing until uh, frog prince uh, princess and frog frog princess i forget the name the exact name of that movie but i, I didn't realize he could sing and uh, I can't remember a goddamn thing from Frog Princess, literally any of it at all, other than I got friends on the other side. It's great. Glyph subbed. Kid ain't real anymore, at least. That's true. 
HR Beck subbed. Why is time a nightmare? How did M. Night fuck up so badly to make it not seem as such? Are you talking about the beach that makes you old? That's like the worst one so far. I am Grape subbed. Hey, good evening, Pat. Hope you enjoy the Mass Effect 3. I know I did up until the ending. I'm sure you're aware of. I think Vega is a legit character, by the way. Yeah, I like him. I like his dumb meathead shit. He's cool. I like it. Hewlett fan kicked in 500 bits. Thank you, Hewlett. Hey, Pat, just want to say the, state the unpopular opinion. I actually really like the Mass Effect 3 ending. Also, I wish Paige the happiest of birthdays. Hope you can take care of her as her husbando. Also, Paige has to make her own cake now. How sad. It's not a cake. It's a foodie. Lemu Hollow sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kiloggin sub. 31 months. Three years soon. Just played through Mass Effect 2 and 3 recently. Just a bit before the legendary announcement. And while 2 looks a lot better, 3 still looks almost exactly the same to me. I mean, that makes sense. Two had more to go. Raging Inferno kicked in five. Thank you. Little tip with the powers in this game. Powers can combo by putting on a status effect. That includes floating them and then adding a force on it like biotic charge. This will result in an explosion. That is a genuine good tip. Thank you. So singularity, explosion. Singularity, explosion. Warp, charge. Warp, charge. Das base sub, 32. Game bad, enjoy anyway. Thank you. I'll try. Discord Lord sub. Thanks, Discord Lord. Mr. Pale Sub, can't wait to see you finish my favorite sci-fi video game series. It's flawed, but I love it like no other. I hope you will enjoy the ride as much as I have. Legion is best husbando. I would love to have like a weird sex thing with Legion. And he's like initiating fuck mode. And then he just does starts dancing. And that sex robot song starts going, which is just sex robot, sex robot, sex robot, sex robot. Just do that. Just do that. And he'd be like, I learned it from you, humans. Te'un kicked in 500 bits. Make sure you find all the Paragon Renegade options for your conversations with the elusive man. It affects how you deal with them at the end. I hope I can get him to shoot himself in the mouth. Woo. Mr. Doctor kicked in 41 months. Hey, Pat. Yo, ain't this that poopy ass dick game that everyone hates? Never played it myself, but it seems like a... It had a mass effect on the community. Boo. Sunset Disco kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Sunset. Garrus took a missile to the face and was ready to return to duty within the day. Kaiden got slammed against the wall a few times while wearing full armor and barely has a pulse. Ain't that some shit? Head injuries are weird. Your brain's fragile. Homeschool Dropout kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Dropout. You remember that episode of TNG where the Enterprise D encounters the Enterprise C and causes a timeline where the feds were still at war with the Klingons and how the Enterprise had an entirely different interior? New Normandy reminds me of that design. I can kind of see it. Although, ironically enough, the number one thing about the design wasn't just the lowered lights. It was the fact that they were all wearing weapons on the bridge. That was by far the... The, the biggest striking difference to me in all those scenes is they were all carrying weapons uh, in every scene. Unstable B sub, Mass Effect 3 time, best gameplay, honestly good until the ending. Happy seven months. Thank you. William Rooster kicked in nine bucks. Thanks, William Rooster. Fun fact, you were supposed to have a full mission on Palavin, but they had to cut it for time. Thanks, EA. Oh, great. Turian Homeworld. Why would I want to have a full mission on Turian Homeworld? Castive sub, thank you. Cat a clutch sub. Much love and good wishes to you and you, sir. Thank you. Big boy Manuel kicked in 32 months. Pat, why does Mass Effect 3 Shepard look worse than the last two? He's got anime eyes, Pat, because their import shit sucks. Really sucks. Silver J Clerk kicked in seven months. First playthrough, I didn't know Galactic Readiness was tied to multiplayer, lol. Kind of cool feature, though. Had to have sucked for people without internet. Mass Effect 3 does an interesting thing. Um, where in the LE they tie like most of the galactic readiness into old choices. It great gives you like huge boosts. Um, and like if you started with Mass Effect 3, they they give you some fucking unwinnable fucking scenarios. Um, but then it all leads to an ending that doesn't do shit. Robo token suffer two. When do you do an Andromeda LP after Mass Effect 3? Fuck! you and fuck no yeah mue tank kicked in 10 months yay 10 months insert joke about banging aliens here okay consider it an insert 
<sighs> Lance Corporal Scott Bukake subbed, please don't drink the vaccine. I'm begging everyone in the chat, please don't butt chug or snort the vaccine. It will not work, and everyone at Walmart will look at you. Love you, Pat. Scott, is that a real... Are you... Is that... That's a joke. Jay Squirrel subbed, When do I get pizza coupon for my brand, brand loyalty? Ask the Noid. And Puff subbed, for 29 months, thanks Puff, There's no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're reading this means... It's not, fuck, shit. Let me try that again. There's no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're reading this sub message means that our energies are aligned. Happy 29 months, Patricia. Also glad to hear you're going to check out Forgotten City. Can't believe it started as a Skyrim mod. I can. When I loaded it up, I burst out laughing when I, I turned to a character and the camera zoomed in like it was going to hit her in the face. Like, that is really obviously a Skyrim mod that they, they pulled apart and made it into its own thing. Oh, man, it's it's real funny. All right, well, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to call it a night, and we're going to go raid somebody, but I haven't figured out who. So be nice when you get there, and say hello. All right, y'all have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for some cinders. Bye.